Being solely dedicated to video games is truly a sign of the times. When video games first came out, many weren't sure if they were just a fad. Newswatch 16 Selma San reports from the year 1982 in tonight's offering from the Video Vaults. It's a craze that's rocking the country. Video games, sophisticated electronics, man against machine. But why are people packing into arcades, waiting in line, and dishing out money? when chances are the machine is going to win anyway. A psychologist says it's like gambling. The gambler knows that he may win the second time he bets or the 56th time from now, but he knows one thing, the more often he bets, the more likely the winning uh, horse or card will come up. And the more you play, the more involved you get, the more desperately you try to win. So what you're doing is tuning out other things that have nothing to do with the video game. And a person may look like they're in a trance-like state, but it's just the heightened concentration. of Play long enough and you can get hooked. Arcade owners say they often see the same people, day in and day out. Of course, you don't have to make your habit public. Home video games like this one are popping up in houses all over the country. You get the privacy of your own living room and you don't need a pocket full of quarters. But for the video game industry, all the money is adding up to a whopping $5 billion a year. A good chunk of it comes from teenagers. I used to spend about $5 a day at least, sometimes $8, $10, you know. Spend a lot of my lunch money. I keep on saving up all my lunch money so I can come on up. As the video game business booms, other forms of entertainment, like the movies, are losing out. The whole game craze. But for others, the games are like a babysitter. Still others use them as a pacifier. He's, uh, he's always bugging me to come in. It's, uh, I think it's just a thing of the age. And I guess they all, uh, they all come in and enjoy it. Perhaps the craziest thing of all about video fever is that no one's sure how long it will last. It could be a fad that fades away any time. But then again, for some people, it could be a habit for many years to come. Selma saying, Newswatch 16. I think it'll be a fad myself. <laughs> That's my prediction. That's going to do it. For